What up, players? Warboss Tampa this Moog. Sorry, I got kind of sick and tired of looking at my messy Bessie desk, so I put up the cover of the Death on the Rake first edition that Ringo Simkin sent me. And I thought I'd do a little, a little, uh, what is this, showcase video for an Ogre Iron Blaster that I painted up. Uh, actually, I painted most of it up a long time ago. Some, some of you might have remembered the pictures that I put up on my Facebook, but I haven't really done a video on him, and I just realized that now, so I thought now's probably a good time to do it. I used a lot of the techniques that I that I went over in my tutorial for painting an Ogre Iron Blaster. This model was sent to me by the client already built up though, so I uh, couldn't do a lot of the the work that I wanted to getting into all of the uh, sub-assemblies. For example, I, I couldn't paint the Noblar or the chest, the, the treasure chest behind the, the Ogre. Um, like I did in my tutorial, but you know what I realized while I was doing it, it's you, you don't have to do it in sub sub assemblies. In fact, I can see how people who just want to get it painted might not feel the need to do it that way and might just want to build it all up and then just prime it and paint it. That's totally fine. For me though, I feel like it was good to do that uh, originally, but I can definitely see how uh, just building it up, painting it once, doing hitting the whole thing with some washes and then highlighting it would would be would be good uh not really much to say i use most of mostly all of the same techniques i used i love using this old kind of like weathered ivory for these side tusk things as well as the the rhinox's teeth and tusks baby rhinox i uh, really enjoyed painting the the iron blaster itself i used gosh what did i use baltazar gold and then i washed it with agrax earthshade and then I did a dry brush, I think, of, well, what was it? I think it was some kind of Sycorax bronze. I did something, um, but but really what toned it down was the Agrax Earthshade and then hitting it with the Nihilak Oxide. So really enjoyed that. The Noblar, I had a lot of fun painting in there, trying to hit everything and do the highlights and everything while he was already uh, glued in place. And yeah, just amazing to me again how much detail this model has and I was looking in my games workshop store or my local game store at some of the other models recently to get stuff ready for spooky Toberfest and I was looking at some of the um, Necron figures and they're so maybe this is just the aesthetic but the o Necron figures are just so like plain and uh, even Space Marines figures are just really plain the new the new kit has you know you can decorate them with a bunch of stuff and blood angels and space wolves have all of their you know blood drop and wolf fetishes and stuff but a lot of the games workshop stuff is just you know not very detailed when you compare it to this i mean i was just painting it and realized or remembered rather that all of these straps tied to the the tusk are are belts and they have little holes punched in where the belts you know where the where the buckle goes into, and the like, the lantern and the the, the gunpowder in the barrel over there, and uh, everything just made me remember how how much fun this thing is to paint. So if you do collect an ogre kingdom's army, you know probably know what I'm talking about. If you have not painted one of these yet, but you collect ogres, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Paint it up. And if you're considering an ogre army, then this is definitely a, a good model to have because Games Workshop really hit it out of the park with this one, I think. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Latest players.